Hello, welcome to Technology Penguin. After spending most of this year in social isolation due to COVID, I figured it was time to start doing some videos. This one is probably going to be pretty rough. I'm still learning and I'm making use of some pretty old camera technology. On to the topic of this video, modifying a monitor bracket. When I started Technology Penguin 10 years ago, I had video feeds and monitors mounted on a bulkhead above my workbench. The monitors were a little high, but they were out of the way and I didn't need to stare at them for very long. During the recent home learning, my two primary school aged children used my workshop as a makeshift classroom. I figured a second screen would be handy for them to manage their work and video meetings. However, after the first day, my son was already complaining of a sore neck. I started googling pull down monitor brackets. Most of the results of my search were brackets for TVs and were very expensive, in the hundreds of dollars. Then I came across this bracket. It was advertised as being a gas lift monitor bracket and was only $44. It was shown as being mounted on a bench top, but I thought it was possible it might be adjustable like a gas lift chair. And if not, for only $44, I could have a go at modifying it. As it turned out, I had to modify it. However, it worked really well and saved my son's neck. It worked so well, I decided to buy a second one and make this video. All right, so for my use, I wanted to use it as a pull down bracket. So obviously it's not going to help me much if it just drops down all the time. So as you can see with this one, this one now, I can drop it down and I can raise it to however I want, however I want. So in order to do this, the gas strut inside that holds it, that holds it in position, if we reverse it, if we reverse it to the other side of the bracket, it will reverse its operation. So instead of holding itself up, it'll hold itself up that way. The first step that we want to do is drill out this post here. Get the drill in there. I think that's pretty much got it. Right, now that we've taken that post out, this bit will just drop away. Those little posts there, the ones that I snapped off when I tried to remove the cover on the first one. So it looks as if we just give them a little pinch with some pliers, we should be able to pop them out. Hopefully, it should still be able to click back in when we're done. Okay, so now that we've got that cover off, we're going to expose the rivet that's holding the gas strut in there. Alright, so the next part is to drill that out. Yep, there we go. I don't know if you heard that crack, but the, uh, the gas strut was released and jumped off. All right, so the trick is when it's attached to this side, it will try and hold the monitor bracket up so the tension will be going one way. If we spin this around and attach it to this side, then it will reverse the operation and we'll be able to have it, use it as a pull down monitor bracket. There's a little lump there where the screws for the cable retention go through. So from what I found from the previous bracket was that 
if you can mount, put this, rivet this bracket on just ahead of that hole and you've got it in the, about the right position to give um, enough tension to hold the bracket all the way up um, while also allowing full operation from top to bottom. So it's time to attach the strut. There's the rivet in place. One down. Right, and the second rivet. have it back together. The final step is to reattach that side of the bracket to the head again. Just need to bend it into position and pop the bolt through. There we go. So the only thing left now is to refix the cable retention and the cover. There we go, all back together, just what I wanted. Okay, since I finished the modification of the second bracket, I wanted to have a look at the comparison between the two. Um, the first one I did is this one. Now to get into it, I ended up damaging the tabs on the inside of this cover. So if I zoom in, you can see that I busted off the tabs in trying to get this cover off. So what it means is that sometimes it'll pop off. That is why for this bracket, I decided to drill out the bottom post so that I could get access to the back of this and I could pop it off without breaking the tabs. However, as the bracket moves, the cover slides very close to the bottom post. Unfortunately, the bolt I chose to use with the bracket fouls against the cover, so I've chosen to trim the cover to prevent this. I decided to trim the cover because in COVID lockdown, I was using whatever I had on hand and I figured that that part of the cover is usually hidden behind the monitor anyway. While I still think this is a better result than my first attempt, if I wanted to improve on this, I would probably try to find a lower profile bolt. So now, time to put it up on the bulkhead. <laughs> 